This past week, two viewers chimed in concerning technicalities around the way that I do this. Matt Kaur uh, mentioned that the character set needed to be adjusted, and Matt, I did check. I am using UTF-8. John Baker was talking about counts, and specifically with Tesla, the way I do this is the Tesla counts were based on the station name, but I've adjusted that now to be associated with the EV network. Tesla hasn't added any stations in the past week, but the counts have adjusted, so I'm just calling that out here. Um, the total stalls John was mentioning was off, but to the best of my abilities, this number is accurate. I did a count both in, micro, in um, the spreadsheet and in MariaDB using SQL commands, and I come up with the same number. So I'm pretty confident this total stalls number is accurate, at least for what's in the database. This week, 113 new stalls were installed throughout the United States and Canada. Blink added nine. Mercedes-Benz Charging Hub did not add any stations, but their stall count increased. Pilot Flying J added two. Electrify America added two. ChargePoint added 23. EVco added three. EVConnect added nine. And the Rivian Network, Rivian Adventure Network uh, posted some numbers. They added one. So it's nice to see them back in the game. Let's get into the data. Here's Blink, and as you can see, the open data is all over the place, so be sure to take this with a grain of salt. But uh, here's new entries into the database. Mercedes-Benz Charging Hub, the one that is adjusted, is highlighted here. It's increased to 10 stalls along with the other one. Assumingly, the other two are going to as well. We're getting word that Temple, Texas has already got the dispensers in place. We're just waiting for them to be energized. Then their entire fleet of stations will be at 10 minus the headquarters uh, canopy location. Pilot Flying J added two, and they actually added one more. I'm not quite sure why it's not in the database. I'm getting ready to do an update for Pilot Flying J probably this weekend. Chickaw, Oklahoma, and Belmont, Arizona. It should be noted both of these are on Interstate 40, as well as the additional one that just opened up in Oklahoma. It is also on Interstate 40. That's not here. It'll be there next week. Electrify America added two. One is Evolve New York, and then, uh, another one is the... Um, Native Electrify America in uh, Swanson City. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Uh, California, six stalls. And there was a press release saying that they reached the thousandth station. And according to my count, it's 999, but that's what's in the database, which is not really reflective of uh, what is actually out there. We know that Electrify America is a bit laggy in their data entry. And here's ChargePoint. There is a New Mexico Albuquerque four-stall ChargePoint build by the Department of Transportation. That was worth calling out. Otherwise, pretty common suspects, usual suspects, nothing really um, out of the ordinary. Uh, there is a FPL evolu Evolution, which is ChargePoint, which is a little unusual. If you go added three, all three in the state of California, they really like the state of California. They figured out how to crack that nut and uh, are doing so all day long. It seems like every time we have EVgo updates, at least one, if not most, are in the state of California, and this time all of them are in the state of California. 2814. Here's EV Connect. Uh, nothing much to call out. These are typical car dealerships. Uh, most like most of them are uh, General Motors branded that EV Connect installs into, and that's what these all look like. There are three four stall stations, which is a little bit larger than usual. And here's the Rivian Adventure Network, six stalls in Lake Charles, Louisiana. There's also two honorable mentions. The first one is an LX, uh, called it Quits. Brandon Flash chimed in to LinkedIn saying that these will be what he's calling stranded assets. So starting this month, all these DC fast charger stations will be, I guess the lights turned out or something. I'm not quite sure exactly what they're going to do, but they're basically walking away from this entire uh, division of their business and closing the uh, juice box uh, product line as well. So sad to see him go. Rove, also an honorable mention. There was a terrific video by the Mach-E Vlog YouTube channel. I encourage everyone to go over and take a look. It's 12 stalls of their own, but there's also a Tesla supercharger 
station on their property. And what's cool about this is there's a lounge in order to kick back that has groceries and other sundries and coffee and restrooms and air conditioning, Wi-Fi. It's really nice, but I think the most exciting thing is that they actually have employees. So it's a full service convenience store, grocery store, something. I don't really know what to call it, but it is terrific. And the mach -E vlog calls it the nicest uh, charging station in the United States. And I'd have to agree with them. This was really nice looking charging station. There's um, canopies also, solar canopies and everything. So anyway, Rove, we'll keep our eye on them. Thanks for watching.